This is my high voltage electrical rig, which I have been using for the past 12 hours to help me stop smoking. What we have here is a high voltage transformer. Now, we have 120 volts coming in from the outlet, which leads to this transformer and this bulb. This bulb came out of a microwave, just as well as this transformer. This bulb is used as an inductor. It takes away some of the electricity before it reaches the transformer itself. Now this transformer is a rather large 2100 volt microwave oven transformer, MOT. High voltage comes out of the secondary coil. As you can see that's primary coil. Then you got your secondary coil. High voltage comes out. Follow it. And it leads all the way to this electrode which runs inside of a vodka bottle filled with 2% saline solution and it will charge this interior of the bottle and on the outside is an aluminum foil electrode that surrounds the entire all the way around the vodka bottle and there's a wire attached to it. Now, this is used to reduce voltage. It's not really used as a capacitor to increase or amplify the voltage, but it is used to decrease the voltage because only static electricity can travel through this plastic. The static electricity comes out on the other side is still high voltage not enough to kill me, but it's enough to shock the crap out of me. And it's reduced well enough to not flip the breaker. Now, that reduced high voltage will lead to this Jacob's Ladder that I am using as a spark gap. Where it will travel from this electrode to this electrode through the air. I need to put it a little bit closer together so it will function. Now once it reaches its way to the second electrode of the spark gap, there is a wire right here that leads to the primary coil of a Tesla coil. This colored wire, it winds its way all the way around and goes to the ground wire. The ground wire is hooked up right here. Just same as the ground wire in the outlet this green wire so it makes its way to the outlet. Now once this primary coil is charged it will charge this secondary coil with a magnetic field. Okay now what comes out of this magnetic uh, this magnet wire is a practically harmless high voltage you will see me demonstrate. So I flip the switch. The bulb is on. It not only serves as an inductor, it serves to tell me that the transformer is on and I need not touch any of this wire. Or this. This is the plasma in between the spark gap. It's reduced voltage that came from this. Now I can touch right here. There's the magnetic field. It feels fuzzy, like static. There's static coming out of this. Now this could possibly help me quit smoking, but I'd try to focus on this type of static. Now, it can hurt my skin. Can you see that? There is a bit of plasma coming from this. 
you can't see it too well, and I blame it on this light that I will try to cover up. Now this light is covered up, so I will touch that. Can you see that? That is the static coming from the Tesla coil. It does not hurt my finger because it is countless, but it does hurt other areas of my skin. But it does not hurt other areas of my skin if I touch it all the way, like this. Now, I basically absorb this static. I cannot explain truly how this helps me to quit smoking, but in theory, it helps me to quit smoking because I am disrupting the cellular communication throughout my brain. When I disrupt my cellular communication in my brain, the neurons that are addicted to nicotine cannot get their message across to the rest of the brain. Repeated use of this has helped me to cut back dramatically on cigarettes. I have relapsed. Trust me, it's not easy to stop smoking, but I did relapse somewhat, but I am not continuing to smoke as much as I used to since last night. I was chain smoking. I went from chain smoking to I can't even finish a cigarette now. I will take some hits off of a cigarette, but I can't finish a whole cigarette. It's repulsive for me to smoke. And I thank this treatment. Now this may not be the proper way to reduce voltage down to a static charge, but it is effective. And I have managed to almost quit smoking. I do plan to use this treatment over and over until I know I am done smoking. I just have to make it through three days of withdrawal. It's out of my system, then I can remain abstinent. Thank you for watching this video, and don't be a pussy if you ever get the opportunity to treat yourself this way. It takes a mad doctor to do this. Don't try this at home, especially if you're stupid. Goodbye.